what is going on guys welcome back to another video and as you can see we are not on the boat we are actually at my house um, I got the Christmas tree behind me which means Christmas is right around the corner and um, I actually picked myself up a very early unexpected Christmas gift so I got a few plans in the works coming up for next year um, and I kind of just wanted to share the experiences with you guys kind of like help grow the channel and uh, purchases like this were unnecessary but necessary if you want to say that also don't forget to please comment share subscribe all the good stuff uh, let me know if there's something else that you want to see and if you like these kind of videos so without any further ado let's get started all right guys as the title of this video clearly states we are unboxing the shimano style of 14 thousand um, i actually received this reel a few days ago and uh, just been really busy with work and and uh, like i said i have a few things in the works that um, i plan on sharing with you guys eventually kind of a surprise um, so let's get started i want to show you guys i want to give you guys a whole on experience um, maybe you know a lot of you can't afford this reel right now i definitely remember the days that i dreamt that I dreamt of getting these reels. I now own three of them. And uh, it's just my personal preference. I, I think um, there's a lot of great reels for um, half the cost or even a quarter of the cost. So don't let that be a deterrent. Uh, you don't need uh, fancy fishing gear to catch fish. Now, with that being said, there are certain situations that you do need a high powered uh, reel, uh, such as the Stella. So, like I said, I'm working on a few things and um, hopefully uh, everything goes good next year. Just a few goals. I wanna kind of help expand the channel, help grow the channel. So, um, let's get into this unboxing. We're gonna use our fancy dancy uh, mail opener. And this reel is completely sealed. I haven't opened it yet. I've been dying to open it. Been anxious for like the last five days. And I'm gonna give you guys the whole on uh, Stella experience. So like I said, this is my third reel, so I know how it feels. But every time I get one, it's like, feels like you're getting a brand new Stella. It's like one Stella is, I guess, it feels like the first time I ever got one, um, if you will. You come in here, you get all these uh, little booklets and instructional manuals and all that. Um, not sure why they would ship the 8000 uh, schematics, but I think it's uh, the same body as the 8000. I think the 8000, 10,000, and the 14,000 is the same body. Uh, I think the only thing that changes is the uh, spool, spool size. So, yep. Information that I'm never gonna use, probably. Who knows? I'll set that to the side. All right, and here we go. This is where it starts. Um, I think all of Shimano's like flagship reels or uh, I guess higher quality reels uh, bring this little line uh, holder thing, which I never use. The uh, Wheel handle here. Uh, very like you have to keep in mind that this is a very high quality reel. You're getting your money's worth out of this reel. So um, you know everything that Shimano makes is I, I personally believe is great. I, I hold Shimano to a very high standard, and uh, I've been using Shimano for a really long time. I actually picked up my first uh, Stratic about 12 years ago, and I still have it. So, nothing bad to say about that. So it brings the, uh, I think this is to change the handle from left to right. I'm a, I'm a righty, so I reel in with my left. Shimano Bantam oil. All of the, uh, I guess, higher uh, make models bring this. And then, uh, here we go. This is where the, the main brain starts. And like I said, Opening this up is such an experience to me. Uh, it just doesn't get old. I feel like whenever I buy one of these Stellas, 
Um, it feels like I just bought it for the first time. Um, you know, it comes so nicely packed and whatnot that it's just an experience in itself. So we're gonna close this box up and we're gonna get to the reel. Comes in this nice like neoprene, uh, I guess storage bag. I guess if you wanna travel and you wanna put it in a backpack or something, uh, keeps it pretty safe. You can scratch or anything in your bag. Has like a little storage compartment here. And then we have the reel itself. And uh, wow, that's all I gotta say. Um, I don't think I gotta sell you on this reel. I think this reel speaks for itself. It sells itself. It's Shimano's top tier flagship reel. Um, and uh, we're gonna go over a few of the uses, at least what I plan on using it for. Um, let's start off by putting the reel handle on there. Very simply just place it on there and just spin it until it gets tight. Beautiful. Give it a little ugga dugga. And uh, let's feel how smooth this is. And it's just incredibly smooth. I mean, you can just imagine, this is like driving a Mercedes Benz or something. It's just incredibly smooth. Uh, drag is super smooth on this reel now. Um, as far as weight, uh, when you compare it to about when you compare it to a six thousand, um, it's considerably heavy. Uh, I believe this reel weighs in at twenty three ounces, which is not too bad considering the size of this reel. But uh, but yeah, it is heavy, especially if you're going to be throwing this all day. Um, if you're going to be popping or maybe doing some jigging offshore or something like that. It's considerably heavy, so uh, we're gonna go over all the details of the reel in just a sec. Let's go over some of the information. So I said it weighs about 28, I'm sorry, 23.8 ounces. So it's about a pound and a half. Uh, depending on what rod you decide to put this on, it might be a little bit of a heavier uh, setup, but that's fine by me. I don't, you know, I don't really mind it. Uh, especially if you're used to some of the older model reels, you'll find this to be not as heavy for the size. Um, uh, 14 bearings, so you know Shimano um, makes these reels as soon as possible. I mean, as smooth as possible, that's what they're known for, uh, really. So, uh, very smooth reel, those 14 bearings you can feel. This is a sealed reel, so you can splash it, uh, I believe you can even dunk it and it's safe as long as you're not reeling on the water. Not sure how true that is, but I mean, I'm not saying that I'm gonna baby this thing, but I am gonna take care of it. I take care of all my gear. I rinse it right after each use. Um, and and so your reel is gonna last as long as you, as long as you take care of it. You know, it's just like doing basic maintenance on your car and whatnot, so just gotta keep up with that. Uh, now, Shimano says it holds 400 yards of 50 pound power pro. Uh, I know most real manufacturers, they kind of inflate those uh, numbers. So I'm not sure if I can trust that or not, but uh, I am gonna add 65 pounds of uh, power pro max quattro. So I'll probably be able to maybe fit 450. That's the plan. Uh, gear ratio is 6.2 to one. So this is a good reel for your offshore jigging. Uh, your, uh, I would say your offshore jigging, your, your chugging, popping and chugging, I guess you could say, uh, good reel for that. Uh, it's got, it holds 55 pounds of drag. So that's more than enough drag to pretty much tackle anything inshore and near shore. So this reel's closest competitor is the Daiwa Saltiga, uh, which is pretty much, uh, neck and neck, uh, they're both 23 ounces, they both have 55 pounds of drag, um, they're both sealed reels. Daiwa uses the MagSeal uh, technology um, and 
what I'm gonna be using this reel for is pretty much um, tarpon, uh, maybe some uh, offshore, uh, you know, some medium-sized offshore pelagics, maybe some kings. Uh, these are all things that I have in the plan, in the works for next year. Um, I kind of want to get offshore and I want to do something different. Um, it's just kind of hard to do that on my boat. With that being said, I can still use this for snook, especially if I'm targeting big snook uh, in close quarters where you're going to need to put the brakes on them fast. It will have 65 pound test power pro on it. I'll be using that max, that max quattro so I can add as much land as possible. This is a, this is a sick reel. Um, it's got this oversized egg knob, egg knob style handle. It's a super smooth reel. I mean, like I said, I don't have to try to sell you on this. Is it worth the high cost? For me, um, I'm gonna have to go with, yeah. I'm just naive about it. I'm a Shimano guy. Um, ever since I knew about the Stella, uh, it's just been a dream of mine and now I own three. Uh, I just can't get away from them. I own Twin Powers, I own the Gosas, and uh, I mean, the Stella is obviously, uh, you know, a little better, but you can still do a lot of the, you can still put a lot of heat on fish without having a reel like this, but it just feels good to know that, you know, you have the best of the best in your hands. And this is pretty much what it is. This is the best of the best. Like I said, the closest competitor is the Daiwa Saltiga, and they're both great reels. They're both flagship reels, but uh, I'm just a Shimano guy. I've been using Shimano for the last 12, 13 years of my life. And uh, they're tried and true. Uh, you know, the the drag is just super smooth. It's got infinite amount of settings. So, you know, super smooth. Um, this, I believe, you, it's not a trip bale. So you got to, you know, it's a manual bale. Not a big deal. Um, this is just a big fish reel. Uh, 55 pounds of drag, more than enough to stop pretty much anything near shore. Pretty much handle anything inshore, sharks, tarpon, big snook, big jacks. I mean, not really much more to say about this reel, so. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this style of video. Um, like I said, I've just been really busy. I haven't been able to really get out there to fish. Um, I have been fishing just haven't been recording. Um, I have a few things in the works, like I said before, and uh, I plan on bringing you guys along. Once I put this reel to the test, I will be doing a review on it. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a review on the 6,000 Stella and the 8,000 Stella. And if you guys like these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you wanna see. Let me know if you wanna see a, a gear dump let me know if you guys want to see a video of all my gear. That's all I got for you guys. So, to the next one.